peer pressure, the desire to be acknowledged, the fear of being rejected, often makes our faith waver, our boldness falter. Temptation is a reality in life, but sin is a choice. What is it like to have boldness and to live for Christ? Today, party drugs are common. An escape from reality, drowning the sorrows of life, or just to get a high? All in the name of love, relationships taken a step too far. To say no to sin, to stand in truth, to choose what is right. Grief happens to all, yet it is sometimes a taboo to speak of. Coping with the loss of someone we love or someone we expected is one of life's biggest challenges. So did Kenny. After being married for many years and trying for a child, to the extent of IVF treatment, all to nothing. She was devastated. She felt useless and failure as a woman. In a world that forces us to hold to our grief and suffer in silence, Kenny lived in a mild depression for a few months until she found strength from God. She decided to stand boldly in the fullness of her grief, embracing her loss. With God, she overcame it all because God had another plan for her. She stepped out to strengthen others who experienced the loss of their loved ones. For we are indeed fearfully and wonderfully made. For the Lord sees not as a man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Maybe you feel you're too old, too young, too busy, too late to set another goal or to dream a new dream. But if you give up on your dreams, what's left? This is Corrine, and she's pursuing her dream to becoming a Pilates instructor. Three years ago, she found Pilates when she injured herself due to too much high-intensity workouts. She fell in love and started to dream that maybe one day she can help other people through Pilates. The coronavirus spread so quickly. The coronavirus has brought businesses to a standstill. The virus is having economic impacts. Corinne and her husband, too, had to temporarily close their watch boutique in Bangkok. Corinne decided to step out in boldness and be certified as a Pilates instructor. In March, she started her journey with a renowned school of Pilates in Canada. It was not easy. She persevered and let God lead. The course will take her two years with the goal of helping people regain their strength and mobility. It's a continuous learning journey. Never stop learning. Don't put it off by saying you're too young to start something or too old to learn something new. Corrine is 44 and she decided to step out in boldness to pursue her dream. 
with God, nothing is impossible. Perhaps many of us identify with some of the situation that the women in the short clip are facing. Do you find yourself compromising with sin just because it is the norm? Do you find yourself struggling with grief and loss that you can't step out? Do you think it is too late for you to chase your dreams? Have you ever wanted to step out in boldness to live out the purpose of your life? Join us this coming webinar, Beauty to Boldness, with Pastor Naomi Dowdy and Pastor Judith Halim on 11th of November, 2 to 5 p.m.